Hi, I'm David Harry, and in this particular video, I'm going to be testing this, which is the newer NW100 48 volt phantom power supply unit. Now, it's a very simple box made out of aluminium. The rear of the box has got an XLR in and an XLR out, and also the power supply in. The front of the box has just got an on off button and a power indicator as well. Now what I'm going to do to test this, I'm going to be using three different microphones. The first mic is a Cascade V57. The second microphone is a Rode NT5. And the third microphone is a Sennheiser, which is the ME66 head and the K6 power module. Now, in order to test this unit, what I'm going to do is run each microphone in independently do a bit of a talk with each microphone and that's just to give us an idea as to whether or not the newer is actually sending the correct kind of voltages out in order to power each of these microphones and also to see if the tone of the microphone sound okay running through the newer just to make sure that the newer is not actually adding any tonal characteristics to each of the mics then after I've done the talking bits what I'll do I'll go to like five seconds of silence with each microphone and then that'll tell us if the newer is introducing any hiss or any hum into the signal chain and then once them two sets of uh, tests have, have completed I'll come back and I'll do an appraisal summary on the unit at the end of the video this microphone is the Cascade V57 and as you can see it's a traditional style for a studio microphone it's a large diaphragm condenser and it's um, not necessarily the most well-known microphone in the world or the, the most well-known name. I mean, you know, whereas Neumann and AKG and Bayer may roll off the tongue, Cascade may not, but they do make fantastic microphones, this being one of them. Now, I come across this microphone um, a couple of years back. I was doing some microphone testing for a singer for an album, and this microphone absolutely just suited his voice down to the ground, which is why I chose it over more expensive microphones. Now, as much as what, it's a great mic, and it's tonally, I think it's boss for certain things, this isn't what we're testing it for. So the other characteristic about this microphone that I really like is it has a very low self-noise floor on it. So that is the one characteristic which is really good for this particular test because what we're trying to do is find out if the newer is introducing hiss and hum and this microphone is a really good indicator of that. So yeah, this is enough of a, of a test of the mic for the tone and the, the level and stuff. So what I'm going to do is hop onto the other next two mics and then what we'll do at the end, I'll go through the noise on this compared to the others. So this microphone is the Rode NT5. And whilst this particular configuration may be a little unconventional for this particular microphone, although in my mind, if a microphone suits a particular use, just, just do it. Whether it's meant to be for vocals or meant to be for inf instruments, if they work on either or, just go for it. But regardless of whether or not um, the microphone is suited to this particular scenario, the one great thing about this mic, it is amazingly quiet. So the, the self noise on the NT5s is absolutely low. It's it's a, they're amazing microphones for you know for the self noise and whatnot. So you know whether or not this configuration is suited or is suitable for the microphone is irrelevant because the reason why I'm using this is because it is very very low uh, noise floor. Now. Um, I am about the same distance off its capsule as what I was for the Cascade. And because it is a very sensitive mic, there may be a bit of plosives going on. So we're not judging the NT5 for its sound or if or if it's got plosives or anything. We're only using it because it's got such a low noise floor. So again, you know, when I get to the noise tests, I'll mark this up and we'll know exactly what it is. But this one is the... Hmm, this is possibly the best test of what the newer is actually doing in the signal chain. So now I'm on my Sennheiser shotgun mic. This is like me, my most favourite mic in the world, and that's only because it is so useful 
Um, I use it for all kinds of stuff. I obviously use it for, like, video stuff, but every conceivable video thing I use it for, like, you know, interviews, just picking up sounds, all kinds of stuff. But I also will use it for close mic and like this. I actually also use it close mic like this for me hdmi capture box so when, when i'm doing screen capture and live and stuff off the computer i'll actually just plug this straight in and, and, and do straight uh, narrative uh, narration overdubs and stuff with it it's brilliant very versatile and the other good thing about this mic is as to whether or not this configuration suits it i will use these for doing voiceovers and stuff and like doing narration in this configuration I'd, I'd normally set it up a little bit better maybe with some kind of filters on and whatnot but just just for convenience for doing this test again as with the nt5 we're not overly concerned about its sound as such and it may well be um we may well be getting a bit of plosives with this i'm not entirely sure um again we're not judging the microphone for its tonality uh, we're, we're judging that we're judging the newer box here and these microphones are great for it because again this microphone is a very, very quiet mic, or its internal self noise is extremely low. Um, not too sure if it's as low as the NT5, but the other thing with the with the Sennheiser, it's it's kind of got a bit of an EQ bump in it as well, so it will emphasize mids a bit more. And with that, you, you, when you alter an EQ like that, you will affect how the perception of noise sounds as well so again another good example to run through the newer to see if the newer is adding the hum and the hiss okay so i just thought while i'm at it i'm at it old you know put the mics in like a boom scenario and um well first up is the cascade and as mental as this would appear to be using this type of microphone as a boom mic why not let's just try it um, I mean, I've had to gain this up a little bit more in order to do this particular thing. So we will introduce a little bit more noise, but that's noise off the microphone, not the newer. Um, but again, you know, might as well do it. We're here, get the mics on the booms and um, just try them out in this configuration. Again, it, it, it just gives another idea of tonality as an extra little thing to do with this video. Not necessarily a big deal for the newer because I think we're already gonna know from the close mic versions as to whether or not the newer is actually doing anything bad anyway. Um, I know it actually isn't, but this uh, these tests will prove conclusively what it does and doesn't do. Okay, so that's enough of the uh, the cascade coming in over the top. So while I'm at it, I might as well put the NT5 on the boom as well. And uh, yeah, we'll just get a, a little idea of how this sounds. Now, this isn't necessarily you know that important for doing the tests with the newer to see whether or not it's um, you know it's it's introducing hum and hiss. But, you know, it just shows another use for the newer. And this new, this particular setup here would be, you know, for doing, you know, proper interview stuff, talking head stuff, video, film stuff, stuff where your microphone's out of shot. And in that instance, I suppose it's a, it is very important that, you know, whatever is in the signal path is quiet for when you have to start gaining stuff either at the desk or you know at a camera or in post and whatnot yeah so like i say this is it over the top and also as well might give people an idea of what the nt5 sounds like as a video microphone as well okay so we'll get on to the uh, to the next mic as well in this configuration okay and as i've just done with the nt5 as well i've uh, i've got the the sennheiser coming over the top as in you know on a boom just in a normal video film position and again, just a little example of you know the, the the versatility of what the newer is capable of. I mean, obviously you can't do this uh, you know on, on exterior locations w without a generator. But for anywhere where you've got power or access to mains power, then yeah, you could use the newer anywhere where there's mains power. So being in a studio environment or indoors is definitely not a problem. And being on location somewhere where you've got generators and stuff won't be a problem there either. So like I say, again, this is just the Sennheiser coming over the top. So now what I'm gonna do, I'm now gonna go into the noise tests now.
okay so to the summary and as you can see uh, I'm outside uh, what it is I'm actually just testing um, or I'm running a whole bunch of tests for me GoPro Hero 3 Plus with um, the external microphone cable and a whole heap of microphones so yeah call back over the next few weeks I've got some very interesting videos coming up to do with plugging external microphones into the GoPro and I've just thought while I'm out doing these tests I'll use this actual scenario to do the summary for the newer. Um, now unfortunately you will hear aeroplanes and a bit of traffic noise and whatnot. Hey but this is real world. Um, so yeah back to the newer. The newer is absolutely fantastic. If all you need is 48 volt phantom power look no further than this box so if you're using a mixing console or a camera or say any form of computer input where you, you, you're you're trying to supply it with a condenser microphone but none of them devices will actually power the microphone then that's where you use this newer it literally just sits in the middle of the microphone and to the places where you want to plug it into that don't have a phantom power supply it's fantastic look no further seriously don't um, it, it doesn't generate any extra hiss and it doesn't generate any extra hum you can hear that within the tests now I've seen a number of comments made on there uh, say the, the the Amazon site you know the like the, the little responses to, to products and stuff and I've, I've read on a forum where somebody's gone oh yeah no that newer thing loads of hiss loads of noise well no it uh, doesn't hum doesn't hiss nothing unfortunately if people have had that problem maybe they've either just had the broken unit or the cables may not have been you know wired correctly or there may have been issues with the microphone or the microphones themselves may have been like kind of like high inherent self noise um, but there's one thing that you know I've proved here and that is the newer is fantastic it doesn't generate anything extra to that signal chain and that's the most important thing it acts transparently in that chain between the microphone and wherever it's going to and that's just the last thing that you need to know that's all it does and it does it brilliantly yet so anyways I've proved what it does um, and if that's what you need seriously go and buy one I mean they're less than 15 pounds in the UK and less than 20 dollars in the States there'll be links below anyway in the description so you can go and throttle off and get one if you want but like I say if this is if you just need a power supply for you know for your phantom power look no further it's amazing so anyway thank you very much for watching my video take care goodbye now